The bottom line is, if Iran cheats, we can catch them, and we will. By killing this deal, Congress would not merely pave Iran's pathway to a bomb, it would accelerate it. Sanctions alone are not going to force Iran to completely dismantle all vestiges of its nuclear infrastructure. Those who say we can just walk away from this deal and maintain sanctions are selling a fantasy. We have to be honest. Congressional rejection of this deal leaves any U.S. administration that is absolutely committed to preventing Iran from getting a nuclear weapon with one option, another war in the Middle East. Military action would be far less effective than this deal in preventing Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. No one can blame Israelis for having a deep skepticism about any dealings with a government like Iran's. And as President of the United States, it would be an obligation of my constitutional duty to act against my best judgment simply because it causes temporary friction with a dear friend and ally. I do not believe that would be the right thing to do for the United States. I do not believe it would be the right thing to do for Israel.